Hey Food Foresters, it's your friend and Food Forest champion, Mrs. Imani. Today we're doing an experiment on force and motion. We're going to build a natural sailboat or raft and we're going to test it out in some water and see how much force we apply to it and how far it goes, how much motion then is resulted in it, right? So let's talk materials. First, sticks, always good for everything. Also a leaf for our sail and some string, rope, raffia, anything that you have that can be used to tie your sticks together. So I'm tying some pieces of my string together to have a longer piece and then I'm just lining up some of my sticks to see how it's going to look visually when I finish. So first things first, I'm going to tie my string onto the first stick and then moving down the line, I'm going to wrap the string around each of the sticks three times and then wrap it around the previous stick in the row. So I'm going to keep doing this until they feel nice and secure and until I'm happy with the way that it looks. And after that, I'm going to take the remaining string and weave them over and under all the rest of the sticks. So as you see, I'm going over and under, over and under, over and under, and the string is making its way down the sticks. So when you get to the end of your sticks or when you run out of string, you can tie the string off in a knot at the end or wrap it around a couple times until it feels secure. And there you have it, that's the bottom of your raft. Next, you're gonna test out your leaf and different sticks and see which one fits best. So this first leaf that I tried with this stick, the leaf was a little bit too big for the stick, so I'm gonna grab a little taller stick and poke a hole in the bottom and the top and create my sail. I'll just fit that piece into the raft on the bottom and there you have it, your natural sailboat. So, I'm going to take a measuring tape and I'm going to place it in my water towards the far side of the bath so that you can see the numbers at the end. So one inch is going to start roughly at the first line and we'll see how far it goes so first things first is it going to float we will see i'm testing it hopefully it floats and it floats awesome 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 and it's already moving and i have applied no force the wind is working in my favor all right, so at this time, if you have a straw, you can use your straw to blow your raft down the water, or you can just use your breath. So we're going to test out different variations of force using our breath by taking light breaths, by taking more forceful breaths, by even alternating between breathing breaths of fire, which are like, <laughs> but we're going to blow with our mouth. So my sailboat is on the way, already sailing. I guess the wind has its natural force energy going. And I'm gonna start by just a light breath and see how far it goes. All right, that spun my sailboat around, which is also a form of motion, right? So even though my sailboat didn't go straight across, it still had motion, so a light breath still resulted in something so now i'm gonna try it boy the wind just taking it away i think we just need to give it to the wind <laughs> now i'm gonna try one with a little stronger breath so i'm gonna apply a little more force all right we'll see how far it goes if it goes anywhere okay <laughs> we have another spin okay let's see I'm going to try to get a better position. Ready? Mm. 
Take it back, take it back. Okay, so my sailboat is spinning and spinning, so I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually take my sail and turn it in the opposite direction, right? So now the closer end is in the front where my sticks are closer and they're wider in the back and my sail is closer to the front of the sailboat now. So I want to see if this changes anything. I want to see if it's able to move a little bit better now. Right? So I'm going to try again. Ready? Nope. Yep. That got somewhere, right? All right. <laughs> Try that again. Now I'm excited. My sailboat is moving. All right, ready? And try it again. All right. So there you have it, guys. Force and motion. And always remember you can try different things. If it doesn't work, modify it a little bit. Add a little more force, see if you get more motion. Switch it around. Have fun with it. See if anybody in your household or your family can make one as well and see if they race. Who's going to get to the finish line first? Alright, we'll catch you next time with another experiment with the Food Forest for Schools and Education Fund. See you later.